It was the year 2017, and a group of paranormal investigators known as the Shadow Seekers had built a name for themselves thanks to their bold and fruitful work in investigating haunted locales. The notorious Greystone Manor, a vast house with a murky past, was their next objective. When the group first entered the manor, they were immediately overcome by the creepy feeling that pervaded the place. The atmosphere was oppressive, and a feeling of impending doom pervaded the area. In spite of the foreboding atmosphere, the investigators went ahead and started putting up their equipment, anxious to record any paranormal activity that could occur. There were four people on the team, Alex, the team leader, Sarah, an investigator with a healthy amount of skepticism but an open mind, Mark, the technology expert, and Lisa, the psychic medium. They had all worked in the field for a considerable amount of time and had witnessed a variety of ghostly occurrences, but nothing could have adequately prepared them for what they would find when they arrived at Greystone Manor. As darkness fell, the people who would be conducting the inquiry convened in a dimly lit parlor so that they could get started on their work. A seance was conducted by Lisa, who was in charge of leading the group, in an effort to make contact with any residual ghosts that may still be present in the estate. The temperature plummeted drastically almost instantly, and an alien presence began to permeate the area as it did so. When Lisa established eye contact with a malignant entity, she appeared to lose consciousness. During the delivery of the horrific news, her tone of voice altered, becoming low and rumbling. The entity asserted that it was a spiteful ghost seeking retribution for a terrible crime that had been perpetrated against it in life and that it was imprisoned behind the manor's walls. The investigators reported that the atmosphere became increasingly oppressive and that they started to experience some weird happenings. Doors suddenly slammed shut on their own, brisk gusts of wind blasted down the hallways, and voices were heard muttering in their ears. As soon as the group realized that they were up against a force that was significantly more formidable than they had imagined, they started to feel panicky. The investigators fled to the front entrance of the building in a frantic attempt to get away from the malevolent spirit that was pursuing them. On the other hand, when they reached the foyer, they discovered that they were stuck. There was no way to open the massive oak doors because they were bolted shut and could not be moved by any amount of pressure. They were practically confined to the premises of the haunted mansion, which served as their prison. The hostile nature of the ghost manifested itself more clearly as the night dragged on. In addition to the ear-splitting shrieks that appeared to come from every nook and cranny, shadows dashed over the walls of the room. When Sarah saw that objects were being thrown across the room by an unseen force, she went from being a skeptic to a fearful believer in a very short amount of time. Mark made an effort to interact with the outside world by utilizing his knowledge and technology. However, all electronic gadgets failed to function properly while he was in the company of the malignant creature. They were helpless and shut off from any way of reaching out for assistance as they became engulfed in a supernatural nightmare. The detectives were gathered together for what seemed like a lifetime, and their terror was obvious the entire time. The malicious ghost appeared to take pleasure in them being terrified, and it tormented them with its ethereal presence. After having her strength sapped by the presence of the monster, Lisa entered a catatonic state, during which she was unresponsive to the pleading of her teammates. At the very moment when it appeared like all was lost, a piercing light pierced through the darkness. The doors to the manor were suddenly flung open, and there was a rescue squad consisting of seasoned paranormal investigators. They had been able to sense the tremendous bad energy coming from outside the manor. They were successful in destroying the evil creature and rescuing the Shadow Seekers from their terrifying ordeal thanks to the power of their united efforts. The Shadow Seekers were forever changed as a result of the inquiry that took place at Greystone Manor. Despite the fact that they carried on with their work, the harrowing event left an indelible mark on each of them. It was a jarring reminder that not all interactions with the supernatural are harmless, and that the search of the unknown can occasionally come at a price that is far higher than expected. In the late 1990s, a group of individuals who were interested in the paranormal and went by the name The Spirit Chasers began an investigation that would go on to become their most horrifying one to date. Their objective was to break into ST. Agnes Asylum, or run-down psychiatric hospital with a troubled and terrible history. There were five people on the team, Jonathan, the veteran investigator and team leader, Rachel, the empathic sensitive, 
Michael, the tech specialist, Emma, the historian, and Patrick, the skeptic turned believer. Jonathan was the team leader. They entered the abandoned asylum with a sense of both intrigue and anxiety while being armed with the equipment they needed. As they ventured further into the creepy corridors of the asylum, they were met with an overwhelming feeling of hopelessness almost immediately. The structure smelled like rot, and there was evidence everywhere of the brutal treatment that the hospital had meted out to its patients in the past. The spirit chasers persisted in their investigation in spite of the eerie environment, since they were determined to find out the truth. Their inquiry started in the notorious Ward C of the facility, which was where the inmates who were considered to be the most disturbed were kept. The group prepared a number of recording devices, including cameras, EVP, electronic voice phenomenon, recorders, and other tools, in the hopes of capturing evidence of paranormal activity. They detected an odd calm in the air almost immediately, as if the building had held its breath in anticipation of what was about to happen. As the night wore on, the investigators reported experiencing occurrences that could not be explained. They reported seeing cold spots that would materialize and then vanish, disembodied voices that would whisper in their ears, and shadowy figures that would dart out of sight. Rachel, the empath, sensed waves of pain and anguish flowing from the walls of the structure, and this had a particularly profound effect on her. Jonathan took the team on a perilous adventure when he led them into the deserted surgical wing of the hospital, which was reputed to be a hub of paranormal activity. As soon as they stepped into the operating theater, they were met by a presence that sent shivers down their spines. The atmosphere became heavy, and an uncomfortable quiet descended upon the area. Suddenly, the equipment that the investigators were using started acting up. The images captured by the cameras were distorted, the EVP recordings became jumbled up with static, and the temperature measurements were all over the place. When the team realized that they were not the only ones in the operating theater, they immediately went into a state of panic. They watched helplessly as a terrifying chain of events played out in front of them. The instruments used in surgery began to float and fly around the operating area, producing a bone-chilling chuckle that reverberated through the corridors. A malicious spirit appeared to permeate the investigators' very beings, and they felt as though an unseen force was pulling at their clothing and hair. The spirit chasers, who were terrified, made an effort to escape the surgical wing, but they ended up getting themselves in prison within. They were trapped inside together with the evil creature once the door suddenly slammed shut. They began to feel hopeless as they combed the facility in a frenzied hunt for a means of egress, but every exit appeared to be blocked off, as if the asylum itself had a hand in conspiring to keep them within its grasp. As the squad struggled through the ordeal for what seemed like hours, time lost all of its significance. Apparitions would emerge and then go, leaving behind just their agonized screams to reverberate through the hallways. Emma, the historian, unearthed the terrible truth of the asylum, which was that unethical experiments and unspeakable acts of cruelty had been carried out within its walls, leaving a residual energy that fed the evil presence. As there was less and less reason to have hope, a lucky break arrived in the form of a secret corridor. Michael, the tech specialist, made an accidental discovery that led to the discovery of a hidden entrance that led to an underground tunnel system. The detectives mustered their remaining reserves of strength and ran through the winding maze to escape from the malevolent monster that was pursuing them. The spirit chasers found themselves free from the grasp of ST. Agnes Asylum as they emerged into the starry night after their escape from the asylum. They emerged from the ordeal shaken and traumatized, but they made a solemn oath to raise public awareness to the atrocities that had been committed behind the institution's walls and to see to it that the souls of those patients who had been neglected finally found rest. The terrifying ordeal that the spirit chasers went through in ST. Agnes Asylum altered them in ways that can never be reversed. Although some members left the field of paranormal inquiry, others stayed because they had gained a new understanding of the depths of darkness that exist beyond the realm of the living and were driven by this knowledge to continue their work. Their narrative serves as a sobering reminder that the search of the supernatural can occasionally lead to encounters that are significantly more terrifying than anything that one could have anticipated at the beginning of their journey.